Can I help you? Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. Hello, everyone. My name is Ifa Labi, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video is actually going to talk about one of the movies I watched at the beginning of the year. You know, the movie that had a lot of us DC people waiting to see it, and that is Birds of Prey and Bantablo's Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Now, when Suicide Squad premiered, we all spoke about how disastrous it was, but the only saving grace of Suicide Squad was Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, which honestly, for me, it was such a surprise because I thought it would be Will Smith's death joke that would be like the highlight of the movie. Even the Joker that I thought would be such a big deal ended up being a disaster. Anyway, Best of Prey premiered in January this year, that was early this year, and there was a lot of, you know, critics about it, which was surprising but shouldn't have been surprising to me because the movie was very polarizing those who liked it thought it was amazing those who didn't like it were like this movie was blah which is sad because i feel like yes the movie is such a fun watch but at the same time i wanted the movie to be more like you know how the jo Todd Phillips Joker has like right now gotten rave reviews i mean it's gotten oscars for Joaquin Phoenix and it's just you know gone crazy so that's the same thing i wanted for birds of prey it's funny harley quinn details her breakup story how she feels about it how the fact that right now there are goons following her just because she's broken up with a joker and everyone knows that joker is a clown prince of crime in gotham and even though he's a clown everybody is afraid of him the one thing i will say before i even get to like the plot and my thoughts about it the one thing i would say is that it's a great thing that they didn't give the Joker a lot of like airtime say for like the beginning when Harley was talking about her relationship with him and how they eventually broke up it was a great thing because if they had brought Jerry Leto's Joker in it one more time it would have killed the movie so I like the fact that they just referenced him and all the people that referenced him throughout the movie were like oh that was your boyfriend but right now you are single so you have to deal with us that part was phenomenal because it was like they kept on acknowledging the fact that yes there was someone that was like a big bad but you are single now and we are going to deal with you. Before I get into my thoughts, let's read what the official synopsis is. It's open season on Harley Quinn when her explosive breakup with the Joker puts a big fat target on her back. Unprotected and on the run, Quinn faces the wrath of narcissistic crime boss Black Mask, his right hand man Victor Saz, and every other thug in the city. But things soon even out for Harley when she becomes unexpected allies with three deadly women. That is Huntress, Black Canary, and Renee Montoya. This is the one thing I would say. The movie shined when it was all about Harley Quinn's antics, when it was showing her getting a hyena, when it was showing her even, even the scene where she was describing the breakfast sandwich, that part shined. It was something very mundane, but for some strange reason, it was so interesting to watch. Like, because even as she was describing the food, I was like, you know what? I'm kind of hungry right now, and I wish I was eating what she's eating. But when it wasn't, focus exclusively on harley quinn it kind of suffered because the movie felt very thin um when it was focused on black canary like there's more story to black canary but it felt like they couldn't wait to pair her with harley quinn so it was like okay this is a story forward 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 harley quinn even cassandra was like someone harley quinn crossed paths with and were like okay i'm going to protect you and you know that's that i think the only other person that had like a lot of exposition was renee montoya because like she had a story of like her partner that took over her investigation and became the chief while she was still stuck being a detective but it kind of felt like all the action like they couldn't wait to meet up with harley i get it the movies about harley quinn and her emancipation and she's telling a story of her breakup how she's sad and how every other criminal in the city is now after her because it's like you're no longer with a joker so like you don't have as much pull as much clout as you thought you had so now we can kill you and when it's that it shines the only person that i would say really shined in his role was Ewan mcgregor's black mask you could see that he attacked this role with every fun he wanted to have in this world black mask was annoying he was very misogynistic he was one of those people that are like wait do these people really exist in this world there was a lot of humor littered throughout and the humor in this movie kind of reminded me of deadpool for a lot of time birds of prey had like a sort of frantic energy and frantic energy does so well in so many things but sometimes it detracts from like what the story or the movie is trying to say because it, it kind of feels like there's so much energy what what are we doing with the energy what are we doing with the energy what are we doing with the energy and like it ends up being nothing another thing i didn't like about it was the way 
each character was introduced into the story so the director took a very non-linear approach to the story so it's like okay when he introduces Huntress okay this is Huntress and how did he, like how did she and Harley finally meet then it goes like there's a flashback to how they met the actions that took place da, 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 to the present even for all of them that's what happened and in a lot of ways it works but for this it kind of felt very distracting for the story because you're like you want to move on but now the director is trying to take you back and you're like uh i get it i get it let's move on another thing i liked about it was the action in the movie so if you watch the animation for harley quinn you can see that she's a very use anything to fight person the action that they had in like the room of mirrors and all of that it was fun it was crazy but it was fun the only part of the action i was really looking forward to was when black canary cried and when she went outside and she screamed oh my whole day was made now i know the movie suffered in the box office and if we are going to talk about why the movie suffered in the box office we can list a million and one reasons but one thing i do know is that the marketing for birds of prey was very polarizing even before the movie premiered a lot of people were against it because of how it was marketed because they were like this is this movie is a feminist flick and saying down to the patriarchy and I am all for you know patriarchal ending movies because good god almighty we are tired of certain norms and things but for a movie that's supposed to be a superhero flick and it's supposed to be open to everybody even when maybe the rate like even when it's for adults it's rated r it's still supposed to be open to everybody so no matter who you are you can sit down and like watch and be like oh okay this this is interesting this is funny i enjoy it it kind of feels like the markets are trying to beat our heads over with the fact that this is a feminist flick because any kind of anybody who i saw speaking about the movie was like this is such a feminist flick this is such a feminist flick this is such a feminist flick and for me in my opinion if you try to push so much of a narrative about a certain movie i kind of feel like you don't have anything else to say you know because there's a way in which you can talk about bringing down a system where it's layered you know and i don't think they did they, they push that in the narrative for me they should have made a narrative like this is a fun movie this is a fun breakup movie so that when you're coming you know that okay i come to watch someone's breakup story because essentially birds of prey is a breakup story and how you know when people break up they cry they you know cut off their hair they do several different things but this but Harley Quinn's breakup was she had to fight with criminals of her ex-boyfriend that's what they should have done that's what the marketing should have been it should have been there's a breakup movie of someone who's a criminal so she's trying to fend off her ex-boyfriend's you know friends so that's why I think that they suffered in the box office the marketing was terrible you know and I feel like we should be able to be honest about certain things i don't know if they're going to do a sequel for birds of prey i think they want to do it especially because right now there's a team up with renee the huntress and black canary but looking at the way the box office of this was ew, i don't see another sequel happening i don't know you know miracles do happen so maybe they might do a sequel maybe they might not we never know anyways i'm done with this video i'm done speaking about birds of prey it was a fun watch even though it kind of was all about Harley Quinn when they should have just expanded to talk about everybody, which I understand. Margot Robbie is an asset. She's a phenomenal actress. So my name is Eva Labi. I'm done with this video. Tell me what you thought about Birds of Prey. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you say that you weren't even going to watch it at all? No matter where you stand, let me know in the comments down below. My name is Eva Labi. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you.